What's up guys? I got a very cool review for you today. Of course this video is sponsored by Jake the Medford guy, sponsored to our group and this channel. We appreciate him. Pay it forward and go by there and buy you a cool Medford. <clears throat> Tell him I sent you, he'll hook you up. Medford Swift, but more importantly, this is the Suicide Swift Tonto. Medford did not make very many Suicide Swifts where they don't have the safety and they do not make them anymore. This is a rare knife. It probably would be pretty valuable one day. And I think it is really, really cool. This thing fits in your hand like it was made to be there. They make... Uh, now the Praetorian Slim, which I think is pretty close, if not the same footprint. And I have yet to have one of those in my hands, but if it feels like this, it's pretty amazing. Uh, Medford never ceases to amaze me. I'm, that's why I'm such a huge fan. <clears throat> the action on this almost seems slower than a lot of um, automatics that I've handled, but it's by no means slow. I think uh, I watched a video and when they first made this, they had the action a little stronger and it was literally jumping out of people's hands because most automatics don't have blade stock like that. That's a pretty heavy blade stock. So you can imagine, you can feel it. I mean, it jumps out there. <clears throat> Let's check some dimensions. Without the clip, we are right at half an inch. <clears throat> I think that is a 0.125 blade stock. Well, let's verify. Point one two six, but I'm not gonna worry about a thousand. Very cool. This knife is it does not have any weight to it. It looks like it's a big, beefy, heavy knife. It's not because uh, <clears throat> I believe those are aluminum scales. It's so light they almost have to be. The blade is S thirty five VN. See if it has matching. Don't know if it has matching numbers because I don't see numbers on them. Maybe they don't do numbers on their aluminum scales. This thing is razor, razor sharp. And I really like the Tonto um, blades, Medford's Tonto blades. At first, when I first started collecting Medford's, I wasn't a big fan of it. But now I've gotten to the point that's really all that I want. I just purchased some uh, Slim Middies and a 187 DP and S90 V and that was the only only reason I didn't get Tonto in those because they just didn't offer it. I really wish they did and I hope someone's going to pick up the S90 V uh, another dealer and start bringing us some inventory because I'm a huge fan of it. <clears throat> this um, I'm not a huge fan of autos but this is one that I want to own. I actually um, purchased this one for a waffle in the group. It's brand new. It's really cool. Check out that clip, man. That clip is awesome. That's that's like no other Medford clip. It kind of favors some of the larger TFF clips I've seen as far as the Medford logo, but I really, really like that clip. It's just a cool knife. So let's look at some size comparisons. Uh, this one <clears throat> comes with the bag. It doesn't come with the Pelican case, which I don't understand, but whatever. <clears throat> I think all Medford should come with a Pelican case. I think it's a classy addition to a, an expensive knife because even their budget knives are expensive for most people. So this is the 187 drop point. Give you an example. That, that is a huge knife. That's as big as any Medford that they make. Now here's a knife that's more reasonable size. 
the Medford Slim Midi, really close in size, really, really close in size. So it gives you a pretty good comparison. I'll set these over the top of each other. They're really, really close in size. <clears throat> Let's look at, oh, here's a good one. Spyderco Schmuck. Really liking that knife. And one more just for grins. One of my favorite knives, the Medford Marauder H. So as you can see, this is a really EDCable knife. Um, and again, if you run across these in the Suicide Swift, even better like this one because they are going to be extremely collectible. Uh, Medford's not making any more of them, so the few that are out there are out there. Um, um, uh, I had the uh, Smooth Criminal in the button lock. That's the one thing that I wish they had done with this Swift. I wish they had made an option for just a button lock because I think that would be extremely cool because I'm, I'm not really an automatic guy, uh, but I really like button locks. Uh, you know, like the uh, Spyderco Schmock. I mean, that, that button lock is super cool. I mean, push a button, flip it out there. I mean, that's that's cool to me. Really like this knife. You know, I, I found myself saying that with every Medford I get in my hands. I see pictures of lots of them. Uh, when they finally make it to my desk, um, I want to keep all of them, but I can't. Uh, some very lucky person is going to win this in the group. So, anyway, there it is. The Medford Suicide Swift. If you want a chance to win it, uh, hit the group up. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for all your support. Uh, hopefully we get better with these videos as time goes on. Get a little better camera equipment. Um, just humbled. We hit 500 subscribers this week. Uh, I'm extremely humbled by that, and I thank you all very much. Uh, I love the knife community and all the people in it, and I'm just glad to be a part of it in any capacity. Y'all have a great day and God bless.